morning and welcome to the WRW News. I'm Toby and today is our WRW News Salute to Veterans special. Today I'm interviewing Ms. Brown. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Um, could you please no introduce, yourselves, introduce yourself to our Wildcats and let us know what branch of the military you served? Yeah, uh, my name's Jessica Brown. I served in the United States Navy um, from 2011 to 2015. And I was stationed on the USS Carl Vinson aircraft carrier. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, could you... <laughs> Thank you. Why did you decide to join the service, though? Um, I always wanted to serve our country. I served uh, a little later when I was 23, so I didn't go right after high school. That's still young, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, I decided to be uh, an aircraft director, so I actually worked on the flight deck and uh, directed aircraft so i don't know if you've seen like transformers but i was one of those My yellow brother loves them. yeah <laughs> okay yeah it was a yellow shirt on top of the flight deck oh. yeah <laughs> that's so cool could could you tell us a funny moment from boot camp if you have one um a funny moment um, I guess now it's funny how they would, um, you know, get real strict and yell in our faces and make us work out so hard that everybody would, the whole floor would be wet of all of our sweat. Yeah, that was pretty funny, but well, now it is. Um, That's or so people funny. would get their wisdom teeth pulled out. <laughs> that was, yeah. But <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of funny times in boot camp. <laughs> It's pretty serious. <laughs> yeah, that's a little serious. Uh, <laughs> next question. Where were you stationed in with what unit? Um, I was stationed in Coronado, which is an island outside of San Diego or by San Diego. And um, my ship was stationed out there. Um, and I, I was stationed there. So in 2011, I went to boot camp in Chicago. And then right after boot camp, I was stationed in Pensacola for training. And then after training, Pensacola in Florida. And then after training, I was stationed to uh, my ship in Coronado. And then um, I did tours, two, two tours in the Gulf Sea. So um, I went out to, did two deployments. And so, um, yeah. That is a lot. Um, did you serve in any combat times in the military, and if so, where? Yeah, we were, uh, we did, well, my first, uh, deployment was in 2011, no, is it 2011, end of 2011 and 2012, so I did a six-month deployment, and, um, yeah, we would launch, it was during, when we were, you know, during the war with Afghanistan, and so, um, we launched aircraft from the ocean out there, and, um, and that was in the Gulf. And then um, my second deployment was in 2014 and to 2015. That was um, for 10 months, and the same thing. So it was still, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 10 months. It's supposed to be six, but they kept us out there longer, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, here's my... <laughs> Another question. Uh, how long did you serve? Because it seems like it's going to be a long time. <laughs> I did four years active, and then I did four years reserve. Yeah. What was your pri primary job while you were in the military? Uh, primary, um, when we were out to sea, it was uh, directing and launching aircraft off the flight deck. And then um, when we were not out to sea, I did uh, mil military policing. So I was kind of like a police officer on our ship. Yeah. Um, was it difficult in any way letting your family and friends know that you were going to be joining the military? 
Yeah, I really didn't tell them. <laughs> the only one I told was my grandpa because I knew he he would support me. But my family wasn't too happy about me uh, me going into after. the military. <laughs> yeah, they were more worried. Yeah. Um, what did you miss most about civilian life while you were serving? Um. I think mostly, I guess, the freedom that you have. Um, when you're in the military, there's a lot of roles, a lot of, you know, you, you pretty much sign your life, you know. So to, um, but at the same time, it's, it's I, I, let, I really enjoyed the military because it's structured. But as far as civilian life, I did like having the freedom to do and go wherever I wanted. Did you keep in touch with your family and friends back at home while you were serving? And if so, how? Uh, yeah, I did. I uh, was mostly when I was out to sea through email. Um, but when I was in, when I was like um, in in another country where we would port, meaning like where we would dock our ship to take a a few days out, off from you know being out to sea. Um, we'd have Wi-Fi, so I could do like FaceTime or, yeah, or, or through mess you know, Facebook Messenger, I guess. <laughs> I always thought the military just had no Wi-Fi, no connection to mm. the outside world. <laughs> we, why. Well, whenever you hit land, you, I mean, you can get Wi-Fi like at a restaurant or a hotel, you know, but, um. When you're out to sea, when there's really no Wi-Fi, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that makes a little bit of sense. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay. What were some fun things that you did with your friends while you were deployed? Um, the fun things were um, just, you know, we became a big family. And so um, they became, yeah, more than my friends, they became family. And to this day, I've been out of the military for you know, quite some time now. And um, so I still, you know, see them, talk to them. We can, you know, we stay connected. Um, but the fun times, I would say when we hit like ports, like I got to travel to so many places with them, like Singapore, Australia, Dubai, um, Hong Kong, you know, and I have a lot of memories with them in different countries, yeah. A lot of countries. Um, what did you feel was the best part of being in the military? Definitely traveling. Traveling was definitely the yeah one that of the was highlights. That's a good, a good <laughs> part about military. You get to go at, like to places that you probably couldn't have. Yeah, before. definitely. Um, really, question I've always like I've been wondering: Do you still work with the military? at all in any way i don't however i do have a government position i work for social security now so my time in the military because i worked technically military is a federal job for the government so now that i work for social security um it's also a federal job you know for the government so my time that i spent in the military goes towards like my retirement so yeah so i've been with social security for four years so they count my military time on top of that so i want if i wanted to i could retire pretty young <laughs> i mean at least you get to relax um how did you imagine military life before you joined and how did your perceptions change after serving before i joined um I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't realize how grateful I am for my freedom, how grateful I am for, you know, being in a country that allows us to be who we want to be, to be able to express ourselves, you know. We don't have, you know, we don't have to look a certain way or dress a certain way. We can all be our own person. Um, after the military, um, I was really grateful for all of that, you know, because I went to countries that didn't have a lot, that really were suffering, um, you know, kids with no shoes or 
you know, not being able to eat, starving, people just starving on the streets. Those, you know, um, I think that was a like a rude awakening. When I got back, I was, I really felt like very humble, you know. I mean, if I ever saw that, I I would feel that too, but I yeah. haven't yet, so. <laughs> I don't think I ever wanted to go to the military from <laughs> the story is a boot camp, but <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> what um what is a word that's meaning has changed since you served in the military or wherever you've served? Uh, you've been to so many countries, I don't even know here. Um I guess a word that changed a lot for me is being humble and grateful. Um, grateful for my family and friends and you know just humble for the life I get to live here you know finally our students are learning about Veterans Day and a day we used to celebrate our veterans what do you feel is the best way we can honor our veterans on Veterans Day or throughout the year so, um I think uh, the best I don't know for me it's like a like when I'm, I'm thanked for my service, you know, I end up saying thank you back because I mean, it's just, um, it's meaningful that we do get thanked for the service that we did because we all have our struggles, you know, adjusting to back to being a civilian. And so a lot of us veterans sometimes, I think, you know, especially the veterans in Vietnam, I know they came back feeling unappreciated during, during their era and that was back in what the 60s 70s yeah. around there, so it was way back yeah but um i think it's just um you know just just being grateful to to have the freedom that we all have you know and you know it's it's not only because of our veterans it's our servicemen and women now it's all of all of those who have you know even fallen and served and just everybody, it's it's just a, t um, a time to to just appreciate all those who who have you know sacrificed and and especially those who made the ultimate sacri sacrifice. Um, so it's just a time to just be humble and just grateful for the land that we live. Yeah. All right. Well, Miss Brown, we thank you so much again for allowing us to interview you and thank you very very much for your service absolutely All right, well, cats, that's it for us today but we hope everyone has a happy veterans day goodbye bye bye <laughs>